Alright y'all, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back into the tackle shop. I know in my last video kind of showed you a little bit about some of the changes going on here and some of the changes I'm making to my kayak here in 2024. Uh, the biggest one being that I've added a second Garmin unit, the uh, second 93 SV that is going to be showing just dedicated live scope. Okay, so I'm adding live scope this year. I've had the normal 93 SV mounted like right next to me on my kayak. I don't want to have two units mounted next to me, so I kind of want to have both of them in front of me, right? So how I'm going to go about doing that, because I have a lightning kayak. I can't just go out and buy something from a, you know, a secondary manufacturer that fits my kayak. Now I've got a Hobie or a Bonafide. I know that, uh, was it, Boondocks has their like dash thing that they've created. Catch has a, a bar that goes across on the Hobies and the Bonafides. So I got thinking like, how could I do this? And I was thinking some of that like, extruded aluminum stuff that has, you know, kind of the tracks on all four sides. But okay, well that's one movie. Then how do I get it to mount onto my like actual gear tracks. So I started taking some measurements of my kayak and I kind of started cruising and poking around on Amazon and other places and trying to figure this out. And that's when the light bulb went. Look, all right, so first, I got some big heavy box and this rod. So we'll start off, this right here is a three foot piece of aluminum pipe, aluminum tubing, like it's, you can see, hollow, I don't know if you can see my eye, but anyway, um, this is what is gonna actually hold my graphs and then mount everything onto the kayak. Obviously this is a lot wider than I need, so I gotta get this cut down. Um, we'll get to how I'm gonna fix the sharp edges situation, because I mean, let's face it, bare metal there, that's just asking for sure. So to have a uh, fishing line hit it and there goes a giant fish. So how am I gonna mount it onto the rails first off? All right, I got thinking about that and I had this like epiphany. I don't know where I came across it, but I saw this somewhere, and it was an off-road truck with the light bars and how they mount light bars. And I thought, oh, let's check that. So I literally searched up like light bar mounting brackets, and I'm like, oh my god, this is absolutely perfect. So this is, you know, comes in, you know, you've got one piece. Oh, I'm just find like the other half to it here. Kind of big. Then you've got a second piece. These come together. There's two bolts that go there. Obviously, this is like way too big to hold, you know, said pipe but they actually come with all of these different gaskets and inserts that go in. So here's the, uh, what's set for, this is a one inch pipe. So there's the one inch. So I'll quickly show you how this is. I got it loosened up enough. This is how it's gonna mount on the pipe. All right, you starting to see this come together. This hole right here is gonna have like a little T that goes into your track and a bolt that goes on top of it. This will mount directly into my gear track, all right? Holds the pipe. When this thing's cranked down, it is like these rubber, gasket things here, make it so this does not move. I mean, think about it, it's meant to hold a light bar up on an off-road truck that's jumping up and down and hitting all kinds of stuff. So it's definitely gonna hold this aluminum bar. All right, so that's this way. Now if I wanna mount graphs, what if I just put it this way? So I'll have it orientated this way to mount onto my gear track, and then I got a bunch of these other pieces here, I'm gonna put down the rail here, orientated the other way, and I'll be able to literally bolt my graphs right on top here. This is big enough and wide enough to hold the entire thing. I really only need the one bolt in. I mean, think about it. I'm in a kayak. It's not like I'm, you know, cruising in a bass boat doing 80 miles an hour beating on things. So there's no reason I should have to worry about my graphs moving if I've got, you know, two bolts essentially in onto these. And the fact that this is flat and wide enough that it'll be able to hold the entire cradle that the garments are going to sit in. So that's what we're going to do. As far as the sharp edges, just a poker on Amazon and just got myself some little plastic end caps. These are a little meant for like the bottoms of chairs and stuff like that. This will plug right in there and there it goes. Now it's a perfectly smooth edge. Uh, I'm probably gonna like rough this aluminum up a little bit and paint it with some high temp black paint just so it kind of like fits and just looks better. And I feel like uh, this bright metal like this is just gonna get really hot and I don't wanna like touch it with my hands and get burnt or something. So that's kind of, I think what we're gonna do with it. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go cut this down a little bit. We're gonna get our pieces mounted on. We're gonna try and get it in the kayak. We're gonna get the graphs on it. And uh, I think it's gonna be great to have the two graphs right directly out in front of me. Let's uh, head out to the kayak and uh, start putting this stuff together. All right, so here we are at the boat. We've got, you know, our pipe and our graphs and all the other stuff. I did discover one thing real quick because I was just looking at this again. Um, 24 inches, it, that's might not be enough to hold the two graphs side by side. So this pipe may actually have to extend out a little bit farther. So I think what we're going to do is we're first going to get it mounted up, and then we're going to see if we can fit it, how we can fit it, and orientate it. So um, I'll show you real quick again how these work. So you get the rubber gasket pieces, and then you get the two clamps. What's cool about these is they've actually they got these grooves 
and these got the grooves, it makes it really simple. They actually like lock right in there. So that's gonna help really hold things. So I'm gonna lock these in. And then we are gonna get the pipe mounted. I'm gonna start my bolts. Again, just to make it a little bit easier on myself. Um, then when we're done finalized, we'll use like the locking nuts and everything that go along with it. But again, this is just kind of mocking it up, making sure everything is going to fit <laughs> the way we want it to. You know, always have good plans. You think something's going to work out perfectly. You measure 17 times and uh, you still find out that, oops, I may have made an error. So let's hope that we can get this to work out. I'm actually going to mount these into the T-Track first. The kit that I got has like a bunch of different sizes of these bolts that go into the t-track so i'm going to use i think this is like an inch inch and a half and then i think i'm going to do the round let's see how it sits right in there i'm going to lean this back again to make sure the pipe goes a little bit away from i don't think that's going to work we're going to have to use bolts too we're figuring all this kinds of stuff out that's not going to work out you know that'll hold it for now all right the other one, I'm just going to set it like that now. All right, so we're through one. Right, that's going to make it about equal for now. So I'm going to put the other two on. She's going to be like tight. Don't mind my yard being an absolute disaster. It is at the beginning of March in Wisconsin. The fact that we don't have 17 feet of snow here is impressive enough for me. All right, so we're not going to go like super tight. But, all right, so we've got, we're going to use both these to like. Oh, that'll work. All right. So we're set there on that one. We'll go on to the other side and do the exact same thing over there. I guess they weren't really okay there you got it they're gonna work i could probably actually slide them in just a little bit i don't think i want this pipe sticking out like this though so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull it in get it to where i need it to be um and then i'm gonna cut off a little bit maybe i want i do want a little bit outside so all right so i talked about the ends how it's gonna be kind of like jagged and stuff one of the little plastic end caps Look at that. Seamless. This one I can pound it a little more, but it's going to keep everything good. Here, let me put a little strip of tape just extra. But yeah, I don't feel like anything's really going to cut. This is looking sharp. Through here. Mount our graphs. Yeah, I think we're, uh, we're pretty much set. That is going to look sharp. It's going to hold everything nice. And once, like I said, once I have the bolt, this is so tight. Like you want to talk about like maybe making yourself like a grab handle or something. These brackets, seriously awesome. Which again, by the way, I do have a link to this exact bracket kit, the, you know, T-Track kit thing here. I know you can buy them from any other manufacturer. I think getting all of the, was it eight total different T-Track bolts, whatever, and all the nuts and everything. I think it was like six bucks. So a lot cheaper to go that route. And uh, you know, let's face it, we're, we're cheaping out a bit trying to get this together, but I think this is going to be a perfect solution to what I'm looking for to add the two graphs right up in front of me. Obviously, my seat can sit back here, all my rods, all stuff there. It's going to work slick. I'll have my live scope pole mounted right over here off of this side, which is going to be another DIY project, which I'll show you here uh, coming up here in the next video to so be able to see how I'm making a DIY live scope mount that's going to like have all the just perfect amount of tension and everything and work out. And it's going to be a uh, about 30 bucks to make. We're gonna pick up a little bit, um, go quick run to the hardware store, get the bolts and all the stuff we need to finalize this up. And then uh, we'll see you back here as we'll finish it up and actually get the graphs mounted on there just to see how it looks. And that's gonna be pretty sweet. All right, real quick, the question did come up. Um, are you gonna kick your graphs? Can you fit your drive unit you know, up against the rail without kicking it? So check this out. 
Now, because my seat typically sits back here, I'm a little farther away. I'm not like super short, I'm like six foot tall. I usually run my drive unit like back one peg, you know, plus just because my seat sits back. So like I literally like ride it to the back. So um, if I move it straight dead center, you can look now, I mean, look, I still have the balance room. All right, now even if I like, I say point it toes forward, yeah, it crosses the bar, but you gotta remember also, as wide as this is here, remember the graphs are gonna sit back. So they're still gonna sit in back past that bar. And I mean, you're never gonna have your, like, it's just, it's not a possibility. So where I ride mine, run back a spot. All right, now look where I ride. I mean, I've got tons of space to go, so. Hope that answers that. There's no way that I can kick my graphs or anything. I got plenty of space up there in the front. All right, once you follow us, we're gonna go to the boat and I'll show you what we've got for our finished product here. So the dogs are barking like crazy in the neighborhood. All right, so here you can see it. We've got everything all finished up, painted it, mounted it. It's all stuck here in the rail. We've got the units mounted. And I mean, look, this is, this is rock solid. So this is not going anywhere. Really, really awesome solution. Again, having a, you know, not major boat that everyone has, you can just go out and buy an aftermarket part. Had to make it up myself. The only thing missing now is obviously we gotta put the graphs on. You know, sometimes these graphs are a pain to get out of the cradle. Um, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna deal with that going forward. So there you go. Got them. There's the old Garmin, which is incredibly dirty. Ooh, still with plastic. Should I do it? I'm gonna save that for private time. Jokes aside, really though, um, what's gonna be really cool about this unit is I'm gonna have in the front hatch here, uh, my actual X2 power battery is gonna sit up here. That's gonna have the black box mounted onto it. The cords are gonna run out this stuff through here. This out the other side is kind of this little channel into the plug in. Gonna look super neat, super clean. When I get done at the end of the day, I can unplug everything from the back. I can stuff it in there, take it all out. And this is the coolest part that I think I kind of figured out. It's gonna be nice. Instead of having to worry about unsnapping these things out of the brackets, I'm gonna be able to take the whole thing off the boat, put it in the truck, it's safe and secure. Custom made dash mount that would fit any kayak. All right, you can add on these gear tracks anywhere on any boat you have. You can do this if you're looking for a way to mount two graphs in front of you. And if you wanna see how I'm building the live scope pole, where I'm gonna be able to aim my transducer, you're gonna go ahead and click here. We'll catch you on that next video.